Hello guys, so today let's see the most confusing new navigation block came with Web 5.9 and block themes. You can see on my website, here's a menu on the top, which is created by navigation block came with Web 5.9. And this is really very confusing. So let's see everything about the navigation block and I will try to explain you in most easy way how you can use this block. So this is the header of website. You can just click here, edit site. If you're using a block theme, you'll see this option. And you just click on edit site and now you go into full site editing mode. If you're interested, you can check the video in the description which I created on WordPress 5.9 and full site editing. So now we're in full site editing mode. You can see this is the header. Okay, so this is the thing. Let's not get very much distracted. What we can do, we can just click this small arrow and click here on three dots and edit header. So there's a sub template. If you don't know about this, you can watch other video. I'll add the link in the description. So now we are here. We are just focused on the header. So now I select this complete block, which is the menu and the left side view logo. If I click here on left, it will move to left and logo will move to right. I can do the same. I can move this to right. So this is applicable for the complete block. Now let's talk about individual links. And now if I click on any element and click on right and left, I can move them inside that block. Okay, so what's new? Why they created this thing? So this is like really amazing. This looks very confusing because they are not ready before. When WordPress 5.9 got released, they did not completed this navigation block. So just released just like that. But in future, it will be better. So right now it is confusing, but I'm sure in future it will be better. What is the great thing about this navigation block? Okay, let me show you. For example, if I select this whole menu item and then click on select menu, you can see I have this option header navigation because I create only one menu. If you want, you can create new menu also. Just create new menu and then you can select the menu which we already have header navigation or you can start empty which will create a new menu. Okay, now new menu is created. If I click here on plus, you can add the existing paging on your website or you can create something new. For example, privacy and then hit enter. So this is added. So if I click here now, you see this plus icon, it works sometime, it doesn't work sometime. And then I click on add and I can add another link. For example, let's say team. So I do not have a team page on my website. If I click here, so the team page will be created as draft. And we have this menu here. So now if I save this menu, it will ask me again which parts I want to save. So the template part header and I'm going to save the header navigation and the navigation. So I click on save and if I open the website again, you can see I have this privacy and team. So now we have two navigation set on my website. First is this one, another which I already created. If I want, I can select this menu here and then click here on select menu and I can see both. I can use any of them. So for example, I use header navigation. It will change the header navigation and I can save it. And one more time, save. And then I refresh my website. You can see we have different navigation. Why they created this navigation block? This is super nice to see. So let me show you why. So with this menu, you can have the same menu even when after you change your theme. For example, I'm using Brixie theme. If I change this to another theme, my website navigation will not be gone because before WordPress 5.9 and without full site editing themes, Whenever you change the theme, your navigation is gone. Either you have to export the menus by a plugin and then add them again, or you need it to create a new menu from scratch. Okay, with WordPress 5.9, that's not the case. Let me show you one more thing. If I select this menu, I click on select menu, and then I click on manage menus. You see, I go to this page and it is supposed to be, if I click on edit, that we can edit this, but you can see there's nothing here. So this guy who was the core contributor for Gutenberg plugin, he was contributor behind navigation block also. He explained everything very nicely. So he said they couldn't finish this navigation block in time. So they just released it like that because WordPress 5.9 was already delayed. So just released it like that. If you want, you can check out his channel. His name is Dave on WP. He don't have a lot of videos, but yeah, he has very good content. And I will add the link to his channel in the description. You can check it out. I'm sure in future, if we click on add navigation, we can edit the navigation using block editor inside. Okay, let's go back here. Okay, now if you want to add a sub menu, what you can do is select a parent menu and then you click this option, which is add sub menu and you click on plus and again, you have many options. You can select the existing pages or you can add a new page directly. So I'm going to add a new page under contact. I'm going to add email links and just hit enter. So you can see our sub menu is added. If I save it here, this is also very confusing that when you use full side editing right now, you have to save it two times and you can choose which section you want to save, which you don't want to save. For example, you have header navigation and you have header. So if I uncheck this option, my header navigation will not be saved, but I would like to save everything. So I keep this check and then click on save. Now, if I go back on my website, I refresh the page. You can see I have this sub menu also, which is email links. Okay. Coming back here and what they get by these things. Okay, so this thing is that now we have these navigation items, we can use them wherever we want. For example, if I create a new page, I create a page. And now if you want to add a navigation block on the page, 
not on the header for example this one here it's on the header but and on the page if i want to reuse that navigation i can do that and for the same navigation block i can have different styles depending on where i'm using them so for example it's a new page so i say test page and then i'm gonna click on this plus icon and i will search here navigation and then i click on navigation so navigation is added now we have three options i can select the menu which we already created and then or i can add all the pages existing on my website or i can start empty like we did before so i click on select menu and you can see there's a bug i click on select menu but i don't see anything so i click again once and now i can see this so this is like not a big thing but yeah it looks like this is not ready so i add this header navigation and you can see contact home sample is here and i publish on page and one more time publish now if you want to view the page let's go and view the page so you can see this is the new navigation i used here so you can see this navigation is added on different location on the page this is the same one here and same one here so the data is same let's see something very interesting if i added the page back again so this is the navigation item for example i choose this one and uh, i want to style it for example i click on this setting icon i select this menu now if you want to for example i want to vertical align this like this and i click on update you can see we have same menu but here it is horizontally aligned here it is vertically aligned so with this new navigation block you have so much flexibility you can have same data set at one place for example you create one navigation menu with five links and the data is like five links you can use them on different places on your website for example on header you can have everything horizontally on footer you can have everything vertically you can give colors background to the navigation on different places but they will not affect each other so this is a really very flexible thing let's try this thing okay so this is the menu i'm gonna align it like horizontally and then i can choose color from the theme so for example i'm gonna choose this color and then i can choose background also for example let's choose the dark background and then i click on update and then i'm gonna click on preview and preview new tab you can see i have this navigation block here which has dark background and light blue fonts but here you see it is still the same so this gives a lot of flexibility over menus but this is not ready yet i hope they will fix the navigation menu in wordpress 6.0 release and it will be more user friendly and clear to us to use but it was really interesting to play with this navigation menu if you want to play with this one it's super interesting i hope you like this information video don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel because i create compact to the point tutorials which are super easy to follow uh, which improve web skills thank you so much see you in another video peace and love and if you're interested to know how i get 100 out of 100 for google pay speed score check out this video on screen